Hello guys, today I will have a short review of a package called Laravel Media Library Pro by a well-known company Spazi from Belgium who created a mega popular package Laravel Media Library for file uploads which is downloaded more than 3 million times already and recently they released a pro version. I was planning to review that for a long time and now finally I've got the time and asked Freck from Spazi to give me a license for testing. So I don't get paid for this review except for I got the license for one project for testing. And I will give you my honest opinion and you will judge if that package is worth the money. So first how Laravel Media Library works without the Pro. So you have a file upload input, simple regular HTML input. So in the blade code you have simple something like this and then in the controller instead of parsing that from the request manually you have something like this. So you add media from request and it lands in media collection called listings. To make it work, you need to specify in your model that it implements has media and uses interacts with media from that package. And let me demonstrate you how it works. So we fill in the form, we upload something, some image, we save that listing. And then what happens, the file is in storage app public. It creates a separate folder for that specific file. And if there are conversions, like thumbnails, which I did. It also is saved as a file. So I've specified that in the model here down below, register media conversions. So also that package is great for doing like thumbnails and stuff like that. And in the database, if we refresh the media table, there is a media table. There is a record about that file. So it belongs to a listing model. It uses polymorphic relations and some more information about that file. And then when you need that file to be used somewhere, you can call it pretty easily by something like this. So listing get first media URL from collection listings and use the thumb of that image. So it's all included in free package of Spati Media Library and I use it for pretty much every project where I deal with file uploads and I recommend that. But in this video, let's dig deeper into the pro version. What does it offer additionally? So if you installed Media Library Pro, it gives you visual UI elements to upload the files with much better user experience for your users. So you can see that already on the screen and I can upload the files, for example, add something and it is shown with kilobytes, with preview, thumbnail already and you can remove it or add another file which is much better user experience just out of the box. And I will show you one version of that UI component. They have three versions. So Laravel Blade, React and View. And Laravel Blade is not just simple Laravel Blade, it comes as a Blade component, so X Media Library attachment, but it has to work with Laravel Livewire and AlpineJS under the hood. Luckily, I'm doing that on a demo project based on Laravel Jetstream, which has both Livewire and Alpine included. So just by adding that library attachment, I get this UI component. And under the hood, it uploads the file already into temporary upload folder and database. And the benefit of that is that if there's validation error happening, so for example, if we upload photo here, and then don't fill anything else, which will fire validation errors, see what happens. We save the listing, validation error happens, and this file disappears. So by default, browser-based file uploads don't remember which files were uploaded before the validation. Media Library Pro takes care of that and the file is still present. And from the backend to actually upload the file and save it, it's pretty similar syntax, a bit different. So instead of add media from request, you do add from media library request with a bit different parameter. So let's try to save something here, fill in the form, upload the file. So another file here, save the listing. And in the database, we have two listings. And then in the files, we have storage app public, 37 and 38. So on the backend behavior of Spotty Media Library Pro is pretty similar, almost identical. The difference is much better UX and UI. But that's not all. Those components are pretty highly configurable. So for example, if you want multiple files, all you need to do in the create blade, just add multiple here. Multiple. Let's actually try that out. So rename it to photos, photos and photos here refresh our page photos let's add multiple files here like this some screenshots for my courses and even before you submit the record you can remove you can change that to another file so manipulate the photos before saving of the actual record and then on the back end let's change photo 2 to photos and let's save the listing 
and we have a new record and in the database we should have multiple files for it. As you can see, multiple files uploaded. Also, there are more customizations. So for example, Max Items 2 would limit the file amount. So for example, let's add that Max Files 2, Max Items 2, and also for a validation, let's add some rules. So rules for Max, for example, 50 kilobytes or something, or 100 kilobytes. And let's refresh that. Refresh the form. First, add two files. And one of them is triggering the validation error already, so 100 kilobytes. But if we move that to 1000, refresh and try to add multiple files. So two files are OK, but there's no more button to add the third one. So there is a validation happening on the front end, but of course you need to repeat the same validation on the back end just in case. And the pro package helps with that as well. So there's a validation section and you can add a lot of rules on the back end pretty easily. Also with that package, there is a separate component for collection of media library. So for example, you have a collection of listings or images and it would manage the whole collection. There's a separate video for that. And there's more stuff like custom properties and more. I don't want to read all the docs for you, but generally you get the feeling. That pro package brings a very good user experience for file uploads if you work with a project with quite a lot of file uploads. Now the price of that pro package is actually pretty high. So 79 euros for one application or 299 for unlimited. But if you work on a project where those file uploads are important, those $79 compared to the amount of hours that developer would spend on reaching the same user experience, if you have the budget within your project or even have multiple projects, then this price is kind of no brainer and it would pay for itself within one project, in my opinion. Again, I'm not getting paid to say that, it's just my experience. From in the past, I was saving money on not buying the tools and spending a lot of time to do the things manually. Now, of course, you can build the same thing for free and use your own kind of a package. And to be honest, I have an article about that on my older Laravel daily blog in 2019. So two years ago, I released an example how we use Spotty Media Library to create something like this with DropZone.js JavaScript library. And we use that inside of our quick admin panel generator. But to be honest, the code isn't that pretty. If you take a look at JavaScript or jQuery, there's quite a lot of things happening under the hood. So storing the media, then a lot of file manipulation, and it's pretty hard to customize. I guess that's it. I could talk probably more about that package and show more features, but if you are more interested, go to the page of Media Library Pro, check the documentation, check the videos, and let me know what you think in the comments. Would you buy that package? Or maybe you have bought it already, then let me know if you're satisfied. And also let me know any ideas of what packages or software tools could I review in the future. I actually started enjoying doing those reviews and software creators are pretty kind to give me the vouchers to test them. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments or shoot me directly an email to pavelos at laravel.daily.com. And final note, speaking about file uploads, I'm planning to start a new course, online course about file uploads because I realized how deep is that topic with all the various options. So stay tuned in upcoming months for a new online course about file uploads, and you can check out all of my 14 courses at the moment at laravaldaily.teachable.com. And see you guys in other videos.